What are the best original Xbox games of all time? The original Xbox was game changing when it first launched and many games that debuted on it remain fan favourites to this day. The original Xbox has a lot of great games but some stood out more than others and remained beloved by many fans. Each of these games has been chosen based on its overall popularity and ratings from both fans and critics. However, some games stand out more than others, and today we are counting down another 10 of the top 50 games ever released for the original Xbox that we still can't get enough off of the list today. In this episode, we look at ranks 20 through 11. Number 20, Tom Clancy's Splinter Cell. As the first Splinter Cell game, this stealth action adventure set the franchise in motion, and fans couldn't get enough when it was first released. Controlling Sam Fisher, a specially trained secret operative, players had to infiltrate terrorist controlled positions, acquire intelligence and get out without being seen. This game was challenging for those of us who struggle with stealth, but still provided hours of fun living out our fantasies of being a super stealthy badass. Number 19 Crimson Skies High Road to Revenge This fight blaze combat game combined the aerial combat with the style of an old Hollywood movie. Set in an alternate version of the 1930s, players would pilot their plane to take to the skies to combat air pirates and armed zeppelins. There was even a split screen multiplayer option, or a 16 player Xbox Live multiplayer that allowed players to test their flight skills against others in multiple different modes that ranged from death matches to capture the flag. Number 18, Prince of Persia, Sands of Time. Despite spawning a lackluster movie that was played by whitewashing, this reboot of the original Prince of Persia game was released to high praise from both critics and fans. Taking the player on an adventure through the scorching Persian sands to reverse an ancient curse using the sands of time to rewind and slow time and see into the future. The acrobatics and parkour mechanics quickly won fans and players over, and it was easy to lose hours of playing the spiritual predecessor of the Assassin's Creed series. Number 17, Psychonauts. All Psychonauts possess incredible psychic powers, but when an evil scientist begins to abduct them, it falls to the newest member, Raz, to save the day. As Raz, players had to develop their psychic abilities and enter into the minds of others to collect the parts of their imagination. Solve puzzles and unlock memories. The more you progress, the more powers you would unlock to help you on your journey. And every ability was incredibly fun to use. Number 16, Project Gotham Racing 2. Project Gotham Racing 2 is one of the best racing games on the original Xbox. It rewarded players based on how well and how fast they could drive. There were also loads of real world maps that took you to places like Chicago, Edinburgh and Florence, making this game even more impressive. Players could jump on Xbox Live to challenge other players online or test their skills against friends via System Link. Make sure if you're enjoying our list to hit that like button and of course subscribe for future content. Number 15, Jet Set Radio Future. Set in 2024 Tokyo, where well, hey, we're there now. This game featured unique anime style graphics and loads of open world environments to skate around in. As a sequel to the original Dreamcast game, Jet Set Radio Future added new tricks, better graphics and improved mechanics that made it an immediate hit with fans and critics alike. Its cel shaded graphics and engaging gameplay still hold up today, and I kind of do miss this inline skating game that was a nice break from the more traditional skateboarding titles. Number 14, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 3. Speaking of skateboarding, we have to give Pro Skater 3 kudos points as one of the best games in its franchise, and the roster of pro skaters in this game was some of the best. In this instalment, players could create their own skaters, now including a female option, and make your own skate parks to practice the new, the new tricks, such as the revert. Outside of customization, players could also explore locations from LA to Tokyo, and complete challenges to become the best ranked skater. Number 13, Grand Theft Auto Double Pack. If you look at the complete GTA games list in order, it's easy to see how prolific the series is. This double pack combined GTA 3 and its sequel Vice City into one bundle for fans to enjoy, and it was an instant favourite. In GTA 3, you can go where you want, hold up anyone you want, and navigate the speedy crime world of Liberty City. While well, Vice City threw players back to the 80s in a free roaming cinematic experience in the GTA universe. Number 12 Burnout 3 Takedown. As another of the original Xbox acclaimed racing games, Burnout 3 stood out from others due to its emphasis on damage. 
Players didn't just have to drive well, but they needed to cause a spectacular crash to earn as many points as possible. With more than 100 events and 40 fictional tracks, Burnout 3 was ludicrously fun, and players loved being able to create massive fiery pileups. Number 11, Tom Clancy's Splinter Cell Pandora. Serving as the sequel to the first Splinter Cell game, Pandora Tomorrow once again let players control Sam Fisher, but in added all new prototype gear to make infiltrating dangerous locations even more immersible. In online multiplayer mode, players could face off against three other players as either a mercenary or a spy to see who is the ultimate infiltration master. Okay, so that's it for today. So if you enjoyed it, punch the like button, comment down below, course, subscribe to the channel for my Twitter and Instagram links down below. As always, of course, I'll part my two buddies first in the description for YouTube and tag titles, thumbnails, all that good stuff. So that's something you need help with, especially like I did. First in the description, download it today. Trust me, you'll wonder how you ever got on with it. And of course, for our partner channels and the hit down below, hit that join button for myself and the channel, and of course, get a huge range of benefits. Be greatly appreciated. But of course, you never have to. But if you don't, you have to subscribe, watch the next video, or something might follow you home. You never know; stuff happens. Okay, thank you very much. I'll see you all again very soon.